Should award shows not have hosts? Is it that hard to find someone who isn't horrible? Right? I think having, having a host is fun, it's chic, it's modern, as long as they are not a terrible person. When I was in Evita at theater camp, um, I played Che, but Che was split up into six narrators who were all equipped to play the role. And I feel that that sort of mindset is what we should bring to awards show hosts. So then you're really just worrying about one specific section and you can really nail that and focus on nailing your tight 5, 10, 15 and like do a real bit as opposed to doing like three and a half, four hours of lackluster material. No, I don't think so. I think that's kind of dystopian. That's kind of like Hunger Games vibes or like um, like futuristic iRobot style. Like uh, artificial intelligence is annoying to me. Like I think it's dangerous. Um, even like X even something as simple as Xboxes I think are too high tech. Like I don't like when something, when like a machine feels so smart. And so I think people should um, host Emmys and that's kind of like a job creator. So yes, I'm running for office and um, yeah, that's my answer. I do miss having a host on award shows. I really do. I miss, uh, I miss having somebody kind of guide me. I would say that I am stupid and it would be really nice to have someone to just lead me to each category that's not just from the heavens. I would love to have a real human connection. That's what we're lacking in this day and age. By having the voice, what is that? We've lost another job to technology? Wow, is it Siri up there? Who created it? I would love to have a person have a job and that's why I support having a host because I support unions. I kind of see it as like, like it's more fun not to, you know, like just, it's that thing in, in Mean Girls when Lindsay Lohan like breaks the tiara and just gives it out to everybody. It's like, yes, let's just like have everyone be able to talk a little bit, you know, it's more fun.